Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Tivedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about antitrust laws and lawsuits. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains papers. So let's begin with the topics of discussion that we are going to look at. First we will cover what is in the news, why is it in the news. Then we will discuss about antitrust laws, the concept of it and the Google antitrust lawsuit. We will also discuss about the concept of software monopoly and also we will talk about the scenario in India. Along with that, we will discuss about the challenges, the concerns basically, the way forward and in the last of the segment, I am going to ask you a means based question for answer writing practice. So, let's begin with why is it in the news. Now, 36 US states along with Washington DC have filed an antitrust lawsuit against Google, alleging that Google is using its dominance through the Google Play Store and it is a cause of concern because it is prohibiting other innovations to come forward to come through. So, this is all a case of monopoly by Google which is being challenged. So, let's look at what are the allegations. So, if we talk about the very first allegation, the first allegation is that through a series of exclusionary contracts, that means from a separate, through the help of separate contract, exclusive and other anti-competitive notions and conduct in the Google Play Store, Google has deprived, deprived the Android users, that is all of us, of robust competition that could lead to greater choice and innovation for us and also innovation on the part of new app developers, new browser developers as well as significantly, as well as significantly lower prices of mobile apps, lower prices for mobile apps. Now this is being done through certain technical barriers. First is that there is a thread of exclusionary contract in the sense that it is getting into contract with several app developers that for whatever purchasing, if I am a person, I want to purchase a, an app from Google Play Store, suppose Spotify. So if I want to purchase Spotify from Google Play Store, Google has made it mandatory for me as well as the app developer that we can use only the Google Pay as a merchant. First is that. Secondly, many apps such as Tinder and Spotify in the US, they have alleged that Google is asking for a revenue share which is as exorbitant as 30%. That is another issue. Also requiring, we have already discussed the second point, so we shall move forward with this. And Google is not only facing this issue in the US but also in European Union and India as well. We have already discussed the issue of the US. If we talk about the European Union, it is facing difficulties. Google is facing the difficulties when it comes to the ad technology in the sense that there is an investigation, there is a probe going on in the European Union that Google is using the personal data of its users in order to be very proficient in its advertising and restricting other technologies, other apps, other browsers from using the data which is garnered by Google. Second is that. Third, when we talk about the Indian probe, the antitrust body that is the Competition Commission of India, Google had a run in with that as well in the sense that India has alleged that if we talk about the manufacturing of smart TVs, there is always a default presence of Google Apps and Google Play Store. So, there is a prohibition to other browsers, other app stores as well when it comes to its dominance in the smart TV industry as well. If you look at your mobile phones, whenever we purchase our mobile phones, we already see that there is a presence of Google App Store. We seldom use other app stores, right? And we always tend to use Google as our prominent and principal browser, right? 
So Google has always been the dominant one when it comes to the internet. But if we talk about the mobile devices, the devices such as smart TV and other things as well, Google is being a gatekeeper of that as well. The problem is that it is restricting competition. It is not letting other industry, other giants, not giants, other micro, small and medium enterprises to come along in the market, which is a cause of concern. Let's move on and talk about antitrust laws. In very basic terms, antitrust laws are regulations that monitor the distribution of economic power in business to make sure that healthy competition is allowed to flourish and economies can grow, right? An antitrust lawsuit, what is that? Antitrust lawsuit is a legal way out, legal way out to make sure that companies which are now tech giants, they follow proper fair market principles and they do not prohibit competition and they do not sustain monopoly on the basis of unfair practices. Then antitrust laws apply to nearly all industry, not only now, we are not listening to it right now, but every industry. And these prohibit a number of business practices that restrain trade. In India, the antitrust body is the Competition Commission of India, which was established by the Competition Act of 2002. Its basic objective is to promote and sustain healthy market practices, which is beneficial for the consumers and also the companies. Moving on, let's talk about this news piece, the Google antitrust lawsuit. The companies such as Google, Facebook, Twitter and Apple, they have been on a radar since 2019. This is a new piece of 2020 and in the year 2021, we see from 11 states to 36 states, there has been an increment when it comes to filing of antitrust lawsuits against Google. Also, the proceedings, of course, will take place in the year, the trial will take place in the year 2022. But this antitrust lawsuit is very important because this is a bipartisan lawsuit. Why? Bipartisan lawsuit basically means this is a lawsuit which has been moved forward by both the Democrats and Republican. So the two parties have united against the, the monopolistic powers of Google. Moving on, let's talk about this news piece, which says, why did Microsoft face antitrust charges in 1998? Microsoft was following certain unfair trade practices which put or which caused its top competitor in the year 1998 to collapse by the name of Netscape. I'm writing it down for you. Netscape collapsed. Why? Because Microsoft started sending or giving its browsers for free. Also, Windows through Windows, Microsoft made it very difficult for the consumers to install such apps which were competitive in nature for Microsoft. Also, it made it very difficult for the consumers to delete certain software such as Explorer. So, the bundling of technologies was such that antitrust lawsuit was filed against Microsoft. And of course, Microsoft lost this case because it violated the provisions of Sherman antitrust law. So, this is something that we need to keep in our minds for further reference. If we talk about software monopoly, how is it maintained? First and foremost, network effect. The network effect is so strong in certain apps like WhatsApp that even if people do not like to use WhatsApp much and even if there is a substitute to it present such as Telegram or Signal, people will continue to use WhatsApp because it has strong network capabilities, strong network effect. Second is brand loyalty. There is a certain sync made up in the devices of the people according to the people's choice. That is why this is superficially known as brand loyalty. Another is trying, tying or bundling of certain products. Buy a smart TV. You will definitely see 
certain software which or certain apps which are present commonly in other smart devices as well so this is another thing they get into a contract exclusionary contract with manufacturers that please put my or you will get a remuneration in return if you put my app in your device so that is another thing this is also a cause of concern moving on let's talk about the scenario in india first is that Google, we have already talked about the first point. And in the last two years, the CCI, Competition Commission of India, has raised issues with Google's commercial flight search option, its dominant position in the search marketplace, the abuse of its dominant position in the Android phone and smart television markets and others. Recently, Google has also been accused of following high and unfair commission mechanism for apps listed on its Play Store. If we talk about the concern, first it's unfair competition. If you get into exclusionary contracts with manufacturers, if you bundle the Android apps in such a manner that it is always present or already present, I as a user will make it convenient for myself to use whatever is present there beforehand. So unfair competition. Second is privacy concerns. Privacy concerns on what basis Google is trying to, on what basis Google is actually concentrating the digital information with the help of the personal data, whatever is provided by the individuals, that is of course challenging and slow regulation. The reaction is quick to whatever Google is doing right now, but the regulation is very slow. There is not one central law that deals with such unfair digital trade practices so that is also a cause of concern moving on to our next segment that is way forward we need to prioritize the personal data regulation proper regulation rules laws should be made in order to ensure right to privacy that means the personal data protection bill which is still a bill needs to become an act so that people should know that whatever data they are providing is being provided on their own consent and of course there should not be a monopolization of data also comprehensive regulatory framework a proper regulatory framework which makes the consumers the app developers the different manufacturing companies aware of what the rules and regulations are in order to curb digital imperialization or digital monopoly also monetizing information if there exists a contract between different stakeholders on such as Facebook, other manufacturer of smart devices, that what is the proper payment system which should be developed for exchanging of services and goods that could be a way forward for the entire industry, digital industry. Let's move on to our main question which says, look at this, do practice it, okay? Given the centrality of digital technologies in the future and concerns emanating from monopolistic practices of big tech firms, a comprehensive regulatory framework is the need of the hour. Discuss in 250 words. So I hope you'll be able to practice it. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.